Goodbye, house. You've been amazing for two and a half years. <laughs> the weirdest wave ever. <laughs> This whole thing started off pretty good. I was gonna vlog before this, but uh, that's Dan. Hello. Mom. No, oh, she's not Lord Farquaad today. <laughs> she's got her hair up on a pony. Um, so we were supposed to leave a day ago, but uh, lots of, we had some pretty horrible movers that did not play Tetris well with the moving truck. Mom found a new moving company that was like way better. But when we picked up the Penske truck, they were missing our car trailer, so we had to have that delivered. <laughs> then when we were getting ready to kind of leave, then the tire on the trailer was flat and there was a nail in the tire. So we decided to stay at my friend Barb's because uh, she offered, which was so, so nice. Sweet. Thank you, Barb. We love you. Yeah. I need to know what those beds were. She's the most comfortable beds ever in her house. Uh, it, it was like a hotel. It was like a hotel. Her whole house like a hotel. Yeah. So uh, yeah. we're about to get on the road after we get some breakfast here at Mariah's in... Um, I guess this is San Marcos considered. Um, and then all the animals are already loaded up. I really wanted to do a video showing you guys all of the animal enclosures that I made and like how I was transporting them, but it has been so stressful just trying to get a 3,300 square foot house like all packed up and ready to go and all the utilities in my new place and like all that. So I really had no time to do it. But um, I'll give you a little sneak peek of what, how, a little tour of how they are in the motor home. Um, yeah, are you guys ready for some breakfast? Yes. yes. And to drive like 24 hours? No. No. No, we're not going to drive that long. <laughs> okay, so here we go. I'm going to flip you guys around and show you the animals that we got going on. We've, we've got Zeppelin strapped into his cage over here. We have Chet down here. We've got Lucy over here. And then I have all my lights and everything. So when we stop throughout the day, I have an exercise pin as well that I'm going to let everyone out. I'm probably going to hold... Um, Oh, Leo, did you poop on the floor right there? Sweet. We've got Motley in here. She's just in her normal cage. We've got this strapped down. And then back here, we have Penny in here. We've got the two rescue bearded dragons in their cage. They've actually been fine together right now. Um, we've got my male leopard gecko in here. And then we've got Brixton and Olive here. We have... Um, I have them in here because these animals are not awake during the day. Uh, my uh, female leopard gecko's over here, and then oh. we've got Brutus down here, they and do. then I've got my hamster here. So, and her yes. mother right here. Yeah, she's part of the zoo. Here we go. We're ready to do it. Morning. It is day two of our travels. A little spritz for Motley here. And Zeppelin. I'm about to plug in some lights right now to give everybody a little bit of UVB and heat before we take off. And I just made my Nespresso in this extremely fancy, very expensive to look this expensive Nespresso cup. And I also just gave the bunnies some hay and yeah we've got the two rescue bearded dragons over here I didn't get to make them a temporary cage so um it looks pretty sad over there but they won't be in it for much longer and then bunnies are happy this morning with some hay Leo is you a good boy did you eat your breakfast let's see <gasps> you didn't eat your breakfast why didn't you eat it? It was other kids? I'm sick. Can you like be cute? We need to make cute content, you know what I'm saying? He doesn't know that it's daytime right now. He's a little out of whack, but I want him to eat, so we're gonna put this in here. That's a good boy. gas station. Zeppelin doesn't approve. 
Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go look at the tires on the car trailer back here because uh, there was a nail in it, like I told you guys when we left, and I wanna make sure it's not getting worse or anything. Zeppelin, please be careful. His balance isn't very good. It's a little low, but not too low, so. Where are you going, honey? <laughs> Here's a little sneak peek at how I'm transporting my female leopard geckos. They've been absolutely fine together. I know a lot of people hate that I have them together sometimes, but it's traveling and we don't have a whole lot of space in the motorhome. Um, I did separate my male leopard gecko over here, but they have been doing so great. Like they love hanging out together. <laughs> I just got cut off where, I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday, but we're currently in, well, obviously I didn't mention this part yesterday, but we are currently in somewhere an hour and a half east of Gallup, uh, New Mexico. Yeah, something like that. So we're waiting, actually, this is the part, I don't know if I already told you guys, but the alignment on the Penske truck is actually off, so the two front tires are like rippled and kind of bubbled. And so my friend Dan, who's driving it, said that um, they need to be replaced, so they're coming out right now to replace that, so we're kind of just waiting around so that we can get that replaced and then go eat breakfast and then get on the road. Um, we really need to leave, we needed to leave a lot earlier today, but it just wasn't possible because Penske, Penske has delayed me so many times now. I am going to ask for a slight refund of some sort or a discount of some sort because it's been kind of a pain, but oh, he's here now. Okay, let's do it. Finally. Okay, amazing. Here we are, we're in Gallup, New Mexico. I'm on Madonna. I'm looking for Kristen. So... Now this is what we're dealing with right now. And Dan, of course, is being ever useful. And here's the poor, here's the poor guy that gets to do this. So what was, yeah, what was wrong with the tire? Uh, there, you could show them on this. Oh. Oh, you've already replaced two tires? Yeah, they're already on. They're, they're just starting to wet. So that was a bad thing. I'm so glad that Dan noticed that. Yeah. Holy crap. I'm having a blowout would not have been fun. You may not have lived through it. I know. I mean, that's the worst part. I wanted to point out another thing that I did that's making this way easier for me is I have my water crystals right here for my roach colony, which is right here. And then I also pre-made rep to save water for my reptiles so that I can easily just put this in little bottles to pour into you know, the water containers or water um, receptacles. Why can't I think of the water dish? Thank you, water dish. <laughs> um, so this makes it way easier so you don't have to mix, but I did bring extra rep to save in case I needed to make another batch, but this makes it so much easier to water all your reptiles. And then you can load this into your spray bottle as well. And I brought a spray bottle, obviously. Obviously. I am refreshing Chet's water today. He pretty much sat in this the entire time, but hes I made sure he was able to easily get in and out of this. Um, so actually, let me make sure this is be balanced here. He got this water so freaking dirty yesterday. Um, now, I couldn't find on the internet whether you actually needed to have standing water for um, uh, pixie frogs or bullfrogs, but I know how much he loves sitting in his water every day, so I wanted to include it. This is very moist down here. Um, bullfrogs actually absorb, mo absorb moisture through their skin, so you can't have them in dry soil. They will dry out and die. But um, he was in and out of this yesterday. He would come out of here when he was over it, and then I would look over because I was sitting right there. And then he'd just be sitting in here staring at me through these little holes. <laughs> it was really cute. So he's, he's loving the water dish in there. I highly recommend. And this one's really light too, so it's easy to transport. I have got the generator running for some lights for these guys. How's it going, Zeppelin? You like that heat? All right, so I literally just had cereal with a fork and that's basically a good illustration of how this entire trip is going so far. <laughs> so it was, we're in Oklahoma now. We're just east of Oklahoma City proper and um, we, I'm parked in a hotel parking lot, but I got pulled over. It was so 
effing windy. Are any of you from Oklahoma or live in Oklahoma? Like, is that a thing? I didn't know that. But the police officer was like, oh, it's Oklahoma. Like, I know it's super windy. Like, super nice. But I was just like, it's so windy. Like, I've been white knuckling here for the past five hours. I did a five hour drive on my turn. And it was so windy that, like, it was almost impossible not to go out of your lane a couple times at least. <laughs> or at least we're within your lane. And so he's like, yeah, I know it's super windy. Like, and I'm like, I'm honestly trying my absolute hardest to not swerve and not go out of my lane, but it's like really, really hard. Um, Zeppelin is staring at me, like look at him right now. It's like, can I go to sleep? Like, oh, you're trying to pretend like you're asleep. Your eyes were open two seconds ago. Anyways, so yeah. And then I went to eat cereal cause I'm just hungry. Cause I've been driving for five hours and I can't find I find not just one box, but two box of forks and forks. Is <laughs> oh, how I wish you were a spoon. It'd be a lot, it'd be a lot cooler if you were. I need to go to bed, it's so late. Two boxes of forks and literally no spoons. And I just start like laughing and I'm like, we're gonna eat our cereal with a fucking fork then. That's, that's how this shit's going down. The whole trip in a nutshell cereal with a fucking fork. Good night. Alright, so fed these guys. It's time to feed Chet. Obviously can't eat in here. So he is gonna go over into this feeding container. He is very hungry. Got some food over here. Hey y'all, I don't remember if I like closed off our little road trip at all. It has been so insane since I moved in here. I have been wanting to do so many different types of videos of like organizing stuff and putting stuff away, but it's like, I don't even know where my tripod is at. Like, I'm just like sweaty. Like look at my shirt right now. Like <laughs> just a freaking disaster. So I feel like there's been a lot of missed opportunities, but I did want to at least close off this little video and say that there will be more. I'm not going to be doing an empty house tour because all my shit is already in here, but I will be doing a tour soon. And right now I'm going to film organizing my shoes in the spare bedroom because my closet is actually not big enough for all my shoes. I have a little bit of a shoe problem, one might say. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, hopefully it was somewhat interesting to watch. Uh, that was quite the trip. Um, and we will see you in the next video. I also want to say thank you for everybody just being so patient with me while I get like all of my like life sorted out. Like moving in the same city is like one thing, but moving into a totally different state where things are different and like you have to refine like a grocery store and a groomer and a vet and like where you get food and like, I don't know. It's just, it's been a lot. I also still have to go get my Tennessee license, switch my car insurance over. I mean, the list is long and I have lots of travel coming up. So I'm stressing out just a little bit, but we'll get it done. So thank you to you guys for being amazing and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.